Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are talking about ears. Everyone's favourite body part. Pot. If you watch these videos regularly, and you should, you would have noticed that I've been getting really bad cauliflower ear. It's not as bad as it was now, uh, it has reduced, but have a look back. Oh my god, it was so red. I've had some people being annoyed that they don't have cauliflower ear and that me wearing ear protectors is just blasphemous. It says in the Holy Gospel of Jiu Jitsu, paragraph 12, verse 4, thou shall not wear ear protectors on thy mats. It's right there. And whilst this is somewhat of a joke and a jest, it did get me thinking about cauliflower ear in martial arts. If you didn't know, when you grapple, there is a high possibility of you developing cauliflower ear. This can happen in a multitude of sports. It can happen in wrestling, in BJJ, MMA, and even other sports like rugby and, I don't know, extreme chess. But what is cauliflower ear? Great question, me. Cauliflower ear is where your ear will take some damage and then blood and other fluids will fill the space in between and then when it heals it goes like kind of pale and wrinkly, hence the expression cauliflower ear. See, here's a cauliflower, here's my ear. You see the resemblance, yes? Kinda. Some people train BJJ and martial arts for years and they don't even get a hint, a slither of cauliflower ear, whilst other people can just kind of have it on their face session. I actually have one of my friends, he said he went to sleep and then he woke up with cauliflower ear. Like, what happened? Did someone just punch you in your sleep? Yes, it was me. <laughs> Sorry, Pete. However, there are people who see cauliflower ear as a rite of passage to prove to the masses that yes, you do do a combat sport. Oh my good man, do you do the jujitsu? That's amazing, how did you figure that out by yourself? And besides me scraping the barrel regarding content in BJJ, it did actually get me thinking about cauliflower ears. What are your thoughts on it? Do you see them as a rite of passage? Or are they just like kind of a mini nuisance? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you do actually have any sort of hints and tips on reducing or mitigating cauliflower ears, leave it down below as well, because I'm sure someone will be interested. I mean, have to be interested, right, for watching this channel. They'll be like, <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about ears. I do remember when I first started BJJ and MMA, and I was like, boy, oh boy, I just can't wait to get me some of that sweet cauliflower ear and show all the girls, and they'll be like, oh my god, and they'll swoon and think, mm, he's so tough. Exactly, it happened exactly like that, lads. As soon as I got it, boom, <laughs> all the girls lining up somewhere, maybe. Need to find that line. And I guess I kind of do like having it because it's kind of proof of my dedication and training to a degree. And it's one of them things where it's not like a serious injury, it's not like I've ruptured my ACL or my LCL has exploded. Also, fun fact, your LCL is known as the lateral collateral ligament. Does that just not sound like the coolest name ever for a ligament? Yes it does. Random tangent aside, cauliflower ears aren't a serious injury, it's not really an injury, and they are they're more like a nuisance, so you can still train with them as you would if you were just training normally. But it's not all sunshine and cauliflower, with it comes a host, a multitude of problems. I say host and multitude, it's like three things, but if I said that, that's not as effective, is it? You're like, oh cool, three things, cheers, whoa, what is it? It's a bit of annoying. Uh. So we're going to just stick with that actually, and remind myself not to put this in the video. Make sure you edit this bit out. If you don't actually want cauliflower ear that can be seen from outer space and potentially block your ear canal, you are going to have to drain it. I'm not the greatest with needles, so this usually involves a willing volunteer to stab me and suck out the fluid. There is a lot of willing volunteers. I don't know what that says about me or my friend group. Just got a stabbable ear, apparently. Once it is drained, it is then a case of clamping it shut with heavy duty magnets to try and kind of like, I think what you want to do is find where the damage point is to kind of clamp that shut so it doesn't keep filling up over and over and over. Uh, and this is going to take you several tries, but look how cool I look. I kind of just look like a Bluetooth wank. Now, if you do want to keep training and not kind of take a knock to the ear, like, it's one of them things where it's not, like, super sore. It's just really, really annoying. Like, when I had it really badly, we were doing single-collar ties, and one of the guys just went, like, out of left field, hit the ear, and it was like a little, like, mini explosion, and I could feel the blood, like, rushing straight there. So if you don't want that, you're going to have to wear ear protectors. Ear protectors will not make you look cool, so if you want to look hip or radical or swood or whatever the kids are saying these days, then ear protectors aren't for you. Although probably like jujitsu probably isn't for you. Why do you want to look cool when trying to do jujitsu? That's impossible. But anyways, if you do want to train and kind of reduce the damage and the impact of the ear, get yourself some ear protectors and you get the look like this. See, you can't tell me I don't look cool like this. 
I mean, I, I don't look. There's also another problem when it comes to ear protectors. That if you are trying to get coached from the sideline, it's impossible to hear what your coach is saying if he's not screaming from the top of his lungs. Like, what just happened? I don't know what you're saying. Uh, can't hear shit. And also, if you suffer from big head syndrome like moi, they're a nightmare to get off. I mean, I could probably just like loosen this, but it feels like it needs to be snug on the head, you know? So anyways, I'll stick to looking stupid and hopefully reduce the amount of damage that gets done to my ear. Anyways, that's the video, and uh, I hope you liked this random one about me talking about ears. Everyone's favourite video of 2022, Chris talking about ears. Thank you very much for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave it a like. Look at that, karate chop into thumb. If you have any questions regarding BJJ or cauliflower ear, or you have any tips about cauliflower ear, then leave them down below. And as always, if you like this face and want to see more of it, then consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay notified. Either way, you've all been awesome. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I will catch you all next time. Cheers!